could this be the day where we don't upload a video on Five Nights at Freddy's AR? What the heck? It feels like it's been 7 million years since we've had an AR free day, which I'm not complaining, obviously, because I'm very, very excited for the game. It comes out next month. But boy, was it exhausting to do those videos. I do just want to thank you guys so much for the support on the, um, on the FNAF AR special delivery videos. I am blown away by the support you guys gave those videos, and I just am really, really thankful. So thank you guys so much. Um, but today, we are going to be talking about 1.35 a.m. Now, for all those people who are unaware of what that means, that is the third book in the new FNAF book series, Fazbear Frights. We've already talked about, uh, oh god, what were their names? We've already talked about the first book, which is called Into the Pit, and we've also talked about the second book, which is called Fetch. But today, we have more information, um, on the third book, which is titled 1.35 AM. We've got the cover of the book, and we also have a full-on description of the book, and a release date, and a few more information about it, like the weight and how many pages it is, but no one really cares about that. We're going to do a very, very, very deep analysis on this book, even though we don't really have much to go off of. Again, really, the book and the description, or the cover of the book and the description, is all we're going to be looking at. But we will be theorizing a bit, because this is a super, super interesting book, more specifically the cover. Um, I haven't looked at the description, because I wanted to keep that, uh, you know, fresh and clean for the reaction. But anyways, we've wasted enough time, let's just jump into the book. So we're here on the official Amazon page for the book, and something interesting to note is that there actually is no cover art for the book, but as you'll find out later in the video, and heck, even the thumbnail, we do have an official cover art. But, um, for some reason this, the description isn't here either, but we also do have that, so do not fear. Um, so really I just wanted to show off the official Amazon page so you guys aren't skeptical even though I'm pretty sure everyone knows that this is the official third book. So we got the name here, 1.35am, Five Nights at Freddy's Fazbear's Fright, book number three. Number three, <laughs> it's gonna be paperback and it will be released on May 5th of 2020, which is super close to my birthday actually, so that's, that'll be a cool birthday present. So it's gonna be written by Scott and it also has two co-authors. Andrea and Eli, or Ellie. I think it might be Ellie. Interestingly enough, as with Freight book number four is apparently a thing, and it already has a Amazon page, and it has a July 7th, 2020 release date. Though, we don't have any cover art of it, there's no description, so once we get more information on that, you guys know I'll do a video on it. So here is a screenshot showing off what the cover looks like and a little bit more information on it as well, such as the number of pages, uh, the height and width, all that stuff. I didn't point it out before, but as you can see, it is going to cost 10 United States dollars. So for those of you who are interested in buying the book, there's your price. It's 224 pages, obviously part of the FNAF series. Um, it is 8.3 inches high and 5.5 .5 inches wide, just in case you needed to know those dimensions. Obviously, it's forthcoming with a date um, of May 5th, 2020. Again, we've been over that. Young adult fiction, horror, ages 12 and up, grade 7 and up, yeah, 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 no one really cares. What we're most interested in, obviously, is this cover right here. Longtime fans of the FNAF books will immediately realize who this is, and this is none other than Ella herself. Who is Ella, you may be asking? Well, I'm about to tell you. Ella was made by Henry, and just as a original reference, here's a picture of her right here. Um, Ella was a toy made by Henry to serve as a member of a tea party um, with, with Charlotte, with Charlie. She was hiding in a closet. Well, that's where her usual default resting spot is. She's in a closet, and then when Charlie turns a crank or pulls a wheel or something along the lines of that, um, Ella rolls out on a track, because uh, she has wheels for feet, she rolls out on a track with a little teacup and kettle, and she has a tea party with Charlotte. In her left eye, it actually reads, Time to Wake Up. I'm not entirely sure what that could be referencing. We can see the description right here. For Delilah, Stanley, and Devin, being left behind is practically a way of life. 
Orphaned from a young age and recently divorced, Delilah escapes deeper into her dreams each night, in desperate need of a wake-up call. Stanley is newly dumped, stuck in a dead-end job for a mysterious employer and unable to connect with anyone. And Devin, abandoned by his dad and ignored by his mom, can't understand why love and friendship come so easily to everyone except him. Jesus Christ, it seems like this one is going to be dealing with a lot darker topics um, than the original ones. Orphanage, ignored parents, uh, trying to find love. It seems like this one is going to be a lot deeper um, with topics than the other ones, which I'm not entirely sure how I feel about that. Obviously, I'm all for Scott branching out and trying new things, but we haven't seen him um, dealing with these sort of topics yet, so I think it's going to be very interesting to see what him and um, all the other co-authors come up with these, because come up with topics like this, because these are incredibly dark compared to the other books. Yeah, Delilah, Stanley, and Devin are three characters we have never heard of before, and just like the other books, um, in the Fazbear Fright series, we're going to be exploring their lives and their issues. They're probably going to meet up in some certain time in the book, and also it's going to be very, very interesting to see how Ella is incorporated into the story, because she is Charlie's toy, and Charlie is not mentioned at all, nor is Henry or any characters, excuse me, that we're aware of as of now. So I'm very, very intrigued to see how Ella is going to play in this book. And really, that's all we have to go off of. Um, again, these topics are a lot darker than what us FNAF fans are used to, so definitely, definitely interested to see how Scott and um, all the other authors are going to put that into... <laughs> Put that into a Five Nights at Freddy's book, which, again, I'm not judging, I'm just really, really interested to see how they're going to do it. As for the book, um, as for the book cover, I'm, again, super, super intrigued to see what role Ella plays in this book. I just had a thought, actually, Time to Wake Up could be referencing, um, Delilah, because she goes deeper into her dreams each night, so maybe Ella's trying to wake her up from her dreams, or maybe it's, um, metaphorical, and she's trying to wake all of these characters up out of their deep, um, dark, depressing state in their life. So, that is my analysis of the book. Not really much to go off of, because this is all new information. We have not seen any of these characters before, but again, super, super excited for this. Um, it has a May 5th, 2020 release, and on this site, actually, on the fandom account, it says that the price is $8.04 um, United States dollars, so not entirely sure because this one says $9.99. So it's around $9, give or take a few dollars or cents. So that's it, May 5th, mark your calendars. I'm really, really excited to see how this book turns out, and I just can't wait for all the new books in general because they are, according to Scott, awaiting publication, so we hopefully should be seeing them right around the corner. But that is it for this video. Thanks everyone so much for watching and I will see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.